Welcome back guys. Um, today we're going to be covering the brand new uh, 1.2 update for Injustice 2 mobile. Um, it was only released today, um, May 2nd slash 3rd. Um, they took the servers offline for about um, 7 hours today um, and then the brand new update was available. So um, before we get started, um, let's go ahead and read what was in the update. Wait for it to turn. Um, so it says, what's new? New characters. Injustice 2 Mobile is proud to introduce new characters, including Bane, Swamp Thing, Dr. Fate, and more. Um, so about, obviously a whole bunch of new characters um, that they hadn't put in there for the brand new release, get people playing it again, um, that hadn't, uh, or that had stopped playing since uh, it had originally launched. Um, earn rewards in multiple game modes to unlock these powerful new characters. So they're going to be in game modes as rewards as opposed to in boxes, it seems. Um, updated campaign mode. Campaign mode has been fine-tuned in order to give players a more memorable and challenging sense of progression in Injustice 2 Mobile. Thank God, because it was really hard. You didn't get any XP, and when you won, you barely got anything. So hopefully it's a little bit harder, but you get greater reward. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, fight your way through the campaign to level up your characters and all, earn all new rewards. Not sure what those rewards are, but I guess we'll find out. Um, and then performance improvements. Performance improvements have been implemented across all devices, improving or improved load screens across all menus and bug fixes. So hopefully that um, helps out with how much processing power it takes for this game. Um, just because it did used to get your phone really hot <laughs> while you're playing it. If you had an older device, I'm on an iPhone 7 and it was really burning my phone up. So hopefully um, they've been able to improve that. So let's go back to the game. Um, as soon as you start it up, um, daily rewards are available. All right. Oh, and Harley Quinn said, now that you've got a fourth player, let's check out operations mode or new operations. Um, I've already had four characters. I've had six characters, I think. But let's see if anything has changed. So first things first, the daily logon rewards seem to be the exact same. Um, except for maybe they increased the fact that when you've logged on for... A straight amount that you get 25 gems. I think it was 10 gems all round, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, if you guys know, leave it in the comments below. I think they've increased the logon rewards for the later, um, later rewards there. All right, so claim. All right, so here we go. Um, now that you have a fourth hero, let's try some operations. Cool. So we've got lots of things going on right now. Um, First off, um, it looks like FPO, uh, obviously challenge mode has always been there, um, but I don't know what FPO stands for. I don't think that's been there before. Leagues are coming soon, and story is locked, and I'm still not sure whether that's because I haven't progressed enough to get story, or whether because um, they haven't opened it up available yet. Um, all right, so first things first, let's look at all of our um, objectives here. So I'm going to collect my free stuff. That hasn't changed. 4 sim, 30 um, energy, and 30 uh, gems. Um, none of the... None of the daily achievements have changed. The daily rewards have changed. The achievements... are all still the same, it looks like. Yep. Okay, so they haven't updated any of those either. Oh... Okay, yeah, they have. They updated the operations achievement. The up, the operations achievement was out of 200, and now it's uh, 169 out of 500. So they've boosted that up a lot. But you are receiving um, gold Superman or armored Superman as the reward instead of um, not useless characters, but like silver characters. So they have changed the the achievements rewards. Um but it doesn't look like they've changed the, the daily ones. Okay, um, so moving on, let's check out what the inbox says. Um, arena season has ended. I get a whole bunch of stuff. Same as always on arenas. Um, end of maintenance, 500 uh, gems. That's crazy. All right, cool. Welcome to Injustice Mobile 1.2 update. We had to bring our game down for a few hours um, to promptly release the new update. We truly appreciate your patience. The game is now back up, and we have wanted to say thank you for being an early player by sending this gift to you, NetherRealm Studios. Awesome. So 500 gems. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> That's actually fantastic. So, um, 
Let's go check out the store, see if anything's changed. Um, check back here to claim free chests every three hours. Hmm. So, you've got a basic chest for free. Let's check it out. Random rewards every three hours, so get free. And we get Sims. Okay. So what my guess is, is they changed the silver and gold crates out for this basic chest and the hero chest. So the hero or the basic chest, you can get shards of silver characters, um, XP, energy, and SIM cards. Um, whereas the hero chest was the gold chest, I guess, where you could only get um, either shards of characters, gold characters, or you get a rare gold character once in a while. So, um... Go ahead and buy another one of these. It doesn't tell you what's in it. It just has the pictures. So I'm guessing that's obviously what's in it. it. Looks like there's a silver bane available as well now. So let's go ahead and buy one real quick. See what we get. Catwoman lasso. Okay. Um. So that's cool. They've updated the. Oops. Whoop. Missed what she said. But um. Miss or er, they've updated the store. So gems and credits. These are all for purchase with real money now. Um, obviously, that was still the same. I'm on the Philippines server, so they're all in Philippines uh, pesos. And hero shards. Hero shards are fragments of a full hero. Use them to unlock new heroes or level their star rating. So that's cool that they actually finally show you um, the like what you can do with it. I don't think Harley was there to tell you what to do with each of these before. Um, so we've got Silver Batman or Silver Robin. So they've got Silver Robin in there, which is awesome. He wasn't in there before. Um, but there are 100 gems each now, or yeah, 100 gems each now, as opposed to, I think it was 75 or 50. I think it was 75 before. So they've upped the, the price on those. Um, let's go ahead and check out operations now. So they've changed the layout of the operations as well. Um, it used to be three stacked with your, um, with your, um, rewards, um, leveling on the right side. And now it's uh, one, two, and three in the top right. So operations are reserved for the best of the best. Sending heroes around or sending heroes on these takes time, but the longer the operation takes, the greater reward. If your hero is in operation, they will be unavailable in other battle modes. If you're if you are in a hurry, you can um, tap on the in progress operation to rush it. <laughs> Sorry, I read that all wrong, but you know what it is. Okay, so they've put the operation upgrades down at the bottom now, and then they've got three stacked. Um, two on the left, one on the right to show you. And your level in the bottom left as well for some reason. Not exactly sure why. But because I've got uh, 675 gems, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the, um, the operations here. So I think it used to show you before you push the upgrade button, what it was going to upgrade on your next upgrade. So right now it doesn't show me whether I'm going to get 5% uh, on gear chance, 5% on um, gems or credits or whatever. So I'm guessing I have to push upgrade for it to show me what I'm going to upgrade. So it drops or boosts me up to 15% gear chance from 10. And it also seems like it adds to my level as well. So I'm going to level up from 18 to 19, which it didn't used to do. So that's pretty cool. I just don't know how much it's going to actually boost me up, whether it's going to give me 100 XP or uh, 50 or what. But let's check it out. So upgrade. So it says my operation upgrade level is 19, but my actual um, character level has stayed the same. So that's cool. I didn't realize there were operation levels as opposed to actual... Um, you know, your character level. So let's upgrade again and see what happens. So every time you upgrade, it seems to upgrade your um, operations level separately from your game. So I'm going to upgrade it. It's going to give me um, the max, which is 15% gems, 15% gear, 25% credits, 25% XP, and 20% completion speed. And when you do those upgrades all the way up to level 20, um, it, it takes effect immediately. So I, now if I claim this, I actually have those two new um, percent chances as well. So now I have that 15% chance on gear and, and gems, which is awesome because I got that 500 uh, gems for 
logging on. So let's collect, see if anything's changed. Doesn't seem so. Got 10 gems, 6,000. Catwoman. And Catwoman. So it seems like I'm getting a lot of the Catwoman, the Master Thief um, Catwoman rewards here. That's kind of cool. I'm um, going to go ahead and collect this, and it should level me up to level 19. Yep. And 78 um, energy. Awesome. And then it should have boosted me up to 172 out of 500. Good lord, that's crazy. You have to f complete 500 missions. Um, now, there are still only um, three slots for your... Oh, they've changed this as well. Okay, so for operations, uh, to assign a new um, character to an operation, you have to select the operation, and instead of clicking the character like you used to, you now have to drag it into the operation section. Um, same applies for, you know, continuing. You're about to send Superman on an operation. He'll be unavailable for a certain amount of time. As soon as you push confirm, he'll be in the operation and you can start, uh, you can collect after 30 minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out the new roster here. So, um, would you look at all these heroes waiting to be unlocked? Unlock all of them by gathering hero shards through battling opponents or in the store. So it looks like they have given me Superman and the Flash for free. Um, silver, obviously. But it looks like they've given me them for free because I did not have enough shards for them prior to opening this uh, this new update. Which is pretty cool. I guess that means that they reduced Superman and the Flash down to only needing 10 shards to own them. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and claim those guys. Unlock Superman. Look at that pose, even though he doesn't fit on the screen when he does it. Um, and let's go ahead and assign him all of his gear. Right off the bat, 1,300 and almost at level... Two or star rating two because he's only twenty to upgrade as well. Um, not a hundred percent sure why it's telling me I've got new talents and stuff. I'm guessing that just means like I can unlock them if I want. Um, and then we've got the Flash as well. So we can unlock him. Boom. And we'll put his gear on as well. Got that uh, four set bonus. I keep on clicking the home button instead of back. Um, okay, so let's see what Harley's got now. Um, nothing new on Harley, it seems. She's still level 43. Um, got a star rating of 2. Yep. Um, Wonder Woman. Nothing's changed on her. Catwoman. Nothing's changed on her. I'm guessing nothing's changed on the current characters that I have. What's going on with this? Just highlighted for some reason. Okay. Um, we just checked out the Flash and Superman, Green Lantern, nothing's changed, and Deadshot, probably nothing's changed. All right, cool. So we just got two free characters, it seems like. Um, so then, <laughs> yeah, boy, they have added, um, Arkham Knight Batman, um, as, I don't even know what, what kind of border that is. He's got a purple border. Legendary. What a pimp. Okay. Um, he gets unlocked with 200 shards and uh, this comes out at star rating 3, it looks like. Um, so his summary is extensive research provided by Wayne. Technology improves the damage of any hazard deployed by Bruce's team. In um, addition to offering an extended ranged attack, Batman's gadgets also stun opponents, leaving them defenseless and unable to attack. Shards, hero packs. He should be sick. <laughs> I'm pumped for legendary class. That makes me freaking excited. Um, abilities, 20% to team hazard damage is his passive. 
Um, then he's got Wheel Kicks doing 189 damage right off the bat, and Stun Bomb, um, same as the other Batman, doing uh, 396 damage. Uh, stuns opponent for two seconds, so that's the same. Um, everything else is locked. It looks like he's got 990 health and 198 damage, which is massive coming right out the gate. Um, critical chance, 55. Critical damage times 2. Defense, 0. Stun, blah, blah, blah. Lethal, 10% already. And times 3 lethal damage. Um, that's pretty awesome. I'm freaking pumped about him. You, you guys know Arkham Knight's my favorite, and Batman's my favorite, so... <laughs> Good first character. That's awesome. Alright, Armored Superman doesn't seem to have changed. Um, Predator Batman's still there. Warrior Cream Wonder Woman's still there. Soul Stealer Dr. Fate. Can't see him completely, sadly. But um, here he is. Oh, him we only require, uh, he only requires 160 shards. Um, he's gold class, arcane class. Um, his threat is 1,774 coming out the gate. Um, three star rating. Um, his summary is an agent of order. Kent Nelson um, is able to swap health with his opponent upon performing his super move. Fate also allows him or allows his teammates to heal from his break of life ability. So he's a healer of the team. I only, I only went like this because. If he's performing a super move, wouldn't that damage the enemy teammate or enemy, you know, character? So I'm not 100% sure how that will work, but I'm guessing um, when he performs a super move, he'll steal our life and then do damage with them or then damage them, or he just steals our life. Um, so his passive is upon um, activating super move, Dr. Fate has 80% chance to swap health with his opponent. I don't like the fact that it's only 80%. I'm wondering if when you level it up, you can get it to 100%. I think that's probably going to be the case, but we'll have to check it out. Because um, why would you want a character that only has 80% chance? That's, that's leaving stuff to chance, and people don't like characters that leave stuff to chance. So I'm guessing you can level it up to 100%. Um, blood price is um, 178 damage, and break of life is uh, 356 damage. So... Um, it says fate also allows his teammates to heal from his break of life ability. So I'm guessing um, they get a percentage of the damage done on his uh, break of life ability. Um, talents look similar or the same. His health is 858 and his damage is 178 right out the gate. Right out the gate, he only has 5% lethal chance, 5% um, critical chance, and two times uh, critical damage, which two, two times is regular. So that's pretty awesome. He seems like a good healer. Um, and I don't think there's really been healers in this game yet, so. Um, Horrific Scarecrow, his information is the same, I think. Where is Catwoman? That's who I'm interested to see. So she's only 160, and um, Horrific Scarecrow is also 160. They upped Master Thief Catwoman's shard price, because she used to be 150, I think. Anyway, uh, Speed Force, the, the Flash, we got Primal Swamp Thing, let's check him out. E ugly looking sun gun, any. Um, <laughs> all right, so he's also 160 shards to get. Um, Primal Swamp Thing, gold, metahuman class. Threat is 1,667. Um, summary: a strong relationship with all vegetable matter <laughs> allows Swamp Thing to revive himself by transferring his consciousness to a new body upon reaching zero health. Oh, and you get him through shards in campaign mode, chapter eight. So that's tight that you don't have to buy things to get them. Um, I'm going to do a run through of all of the, the characters to see if you can get their shards through campaign mode now or any other modes. Um, that's cool that he transfers his consciousness to a new body upon reaching zero health. I just wonder if that can only happen one time and if it's going to be the same kind of look and feel to his new body or whether it's going to be a different uh, you know look. So when I read it, force of nature is passive. Um, when knocked out, a cloned body emerges from the ground with 25% health in which Swamp Thing may continue to fight. Okay, so I like that, that he revives, but I always kind of say, what's the point in having a character come back at anything less than 100% health? Because couldn't you have just given this character 25% more health to begin with? That's kind of my, my deal with it and giving him a different passive that's a, even a little bit better. So um, he'll probably be good for, you know, putting him in when one of the enemy is going to do a super move or something that does massive damage um, so that he can die and then still be alive because he'll come back. But 
Um, I'm not too much of a fan of, of characters that die and then come back to, to health or come back to life with less than full health. So hopefully it'll be good, but I'll have to test it out. Um, Marsh March is 138 damage and Biofission is um, 276 damage. Um, mm, mm, health is 957. Okay. Damage is 138. Got 5% uh, critical chance and 5% lethal chance. All right. Who else do we have here? Um, okay, we already had Emerald Green Lantern. We already had Unbreakable Cyborg. We had tele Telekinetic Gorilla Grodd, Unhinged Harley Quinn, and Master Thief Catwoman. So as a silver character new, it looks like we've got uh, Dr. Fate again as a silver. Um, so... Dr. Fate, um, a silver arcane class, threat is about a thousand. Um, summary, an expert spellcaster, Dr. Fate enables his team to easily use abilities. Not sure what that means. In addition, um, Naboo's curse allows him to manifest glyphs that cause damage over time. Fate's ranged attack also may be extended for additional hits. Not sure how? Let's see if it says in his abilities. So team abilities one, two, and three require one less power. That's sick. Okay, I like that. That's really cool. Um, and then negative two opposing team defense. So that's also cool. I'm guessing you can level that up. Um, I'm I have a gut feeling that you're not going to be able to level up the the amount of power that it takes to um, cast abilities one, two, and three by you know leveling up his passive. But I'm guessing that the two percent um, opposing team defense you can level up to be maybe ten or something. So their defense is less. Um, Glyph of Anubis is 108, that'll do the damage over time, and Naboo's Curse um, is 216 damage over time. Okay, um, talents and stats, he comes out with 519 and his damage is 108, 5 and 5. Alright, that's pretty awesome. Oh, how do you get him? Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 8. Whew, Heroic Campaign just for a silver character, alright. Um, Scarecrow Bane. Bane looks pretty tight. He looks a little metallic mixed with his camo pants. That's cool. Um, so he comes out with uh, 734, and he's only 10 shards to get. Um, Bane's combat prowess improves the critical attack chance of his entire team. That's cool. Um, his training regimen even allows him to... Or his team's... Most basic attacks that deal increased damage. Okay, cool. That's nice. So it's he's basically um, just buffing your entire team for damage. Um, and you get him through Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 6. Um, his abilities, or you see his passive is Ultimate Brawler. 10% team damage for basic tag, jump, rush, ranged, and crouch attacks. So, essentially anything. And then... Um, Team critical hit chance increased by 10%. And I'm thinking you might be able to level that up by leveling up his passive. Um, bitter taste, 69 damage. And venom strength is uh, 138 damage. Health is 379. Damage is 69, 5 and 5. All right. Um, we got Robin, Swamp, and Swamp Thing. Let's check out Robin. So Robin's only 10 shards as well. What? They have a sword? That is sick. Okay. Um, so he comes out with 726 threat. Um, silver class agility. Um, so he'd be nice and fast. That's sick. Um, raised and trained by the League of Assassins. Damien's um, basic attacks may gain him extra combo hits, increasing the damage bonus received upon his abilities. Basic attacks may gain him extra combo hits, increasing the damage bonus received upon using his abilities. Okay, that's pretty awesome. So I'm guessing that that just means that, you know, by continuously getting um, higher and higher amounts of hits and uh, continuing your streaks, then when he uses his abilities, massive damage. Um, you get him in Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 5, or at least the shards for him. Um... Combo Master is his passive. It's 15% chance for non-ability attacks to count as two combo meter hits. That explains it. I was like, how does that even work? So that's awesome. So you can essentially, and I'm wondering if you can level that up to maybe 25% chance or something like that. And that will just um, 
allow him to get to that highest combo uh, chance possible before you use your special, so that's awesome. Um, Assassin Strike, 74 damage, Born to Kill, 107, or 148 damage. Um, health is 346, damage is 74, 5 and 5. Love Robin, he's tight. Swamp Thing. Hee <laughs> bro. Um, Swamp Thing, Silver Class Metahuman. Um, he is 10 shards, and um, as a protector of the green, Swamp Thing can heal himself by creating a patch of Abigail's Garden after each ability use. So essentially he just heals himself after every um, ability. Okay. Um, and you get him in regular campaign mode, chapter 6. Early shards. Wild growth. Abilities create a wild growth that heals Swamp Thing over time for 51 health. And I'm wondering if when you level him up, um, that will change from 51 to something else, or whether you have to increase his passive, like level up his passive ability to get that 51 health to keep on leveling up. Um, Refiliation does um, 51 damage, and the Rot does <laughs> the rot does 102 damage. Uh, comes out with 429 health, 51 damage, 5 and 5. All right, so that is it for the new characters. Um, I do want to run through them and see if it shows how you can get their shards. So Harley Quinn, um, she is Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 1. Uh, so that hasn't changed. She was always there. Wonder Woman, Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 1. That is new because she used to be Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 2. Uh, Catwoman, Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 2. That's pretty awesome because I need to level her up, so she's now available, and I don't know if she was um, available before. She definitely wasn't in Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 2, so that's awesome. Batman, also in Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 1, so that's awesome too because I need to level him up to Star 2 as well. These, these are really good updates, I think. Um, Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 4 for Metahuman The Flash. Superman is Chapter 3. Green Lantern is Arena Mode. I wonder if he's going to be a um, a reward for coming in a certain level, or whether you just may randomly get him by continuously playing, or whether it's going to be an achievement. All right, so we'll check that out afterwards. Um, Deadshot, Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 2, Arkham... <laughs> Arkham Knight Batman Legendary is uh, only in hero packs. That kind of stinks. If you ever see him as available to buy a shard of him, it seems like that's probably definitely a good thing to do. I, I couldn't imagine that you're actually going to get the entire character out of one of those hero packs. I'm guessing only shards. Um, but he is only 200 of them, as opposed to Armored Superman, who is 360, but you get Armored Superman um, shards by doing uh, achievements. So... Um, he might be a little bit easier to get, even though he does come out with four stars. So, um, the only way to get Armored Superman is through achievements now. So that's new, um, because he used to be in, um, packs, and you used to be able to buy him his, um, you know, daily shards that you could buy for, um, 75 or 150, um, gems. Uh, regular Predator Batman or Gold Predator Batman is Arena Mode. So, still need to learn how that's going to work. I wonder if, I wonder if it, when it says arena mode, it means that you can buy them with arena souls or something like that. I um, guess we'll check that out in a minute here. Um, okay, Wonder Woman, you get in challenge mode. We haven't played challenge mode yet, so I guess we'll we'll learn how to get her soon enough. Um, Doctor Fate Gold is also challenge mode. Horrific Scarecrow is in Hero Packs. I almost had him, too. I wonder if you can still get him um, just by getting shards of his through uh, other means. I'm going to guess probably not, which kind of stinks, because I almost had him. Um, Speed Force the Flash. Challenge Mode. Seems like a lot of these are through Challenge Mode. Um, Primal Swamp Thing. Campaign Mode Chapter 8. Just regular, it looks like. It doesn't even say um, Hero thing just chapter eight that's that's pretty awesome um green lantern um is heroic campaign mode chapter four so you can get these golds through just beating the um the campaign now as well unbreakable cyborg chapter four in heroic 
tele- telekinetic grod, um, heroic campaign mode chapter six. Okay, seems like it's a little bit harder to get him. Um, unhinged Harley Quinn is hero packs. All right, master thief Catwoman, operations nice. Okay, and the reason I say nice is because her passive is um. 6% more credits in operations and 6% more chance of gear in operations, which if we can get her, if I can get her and I can put her in operations, then I'll be getting extra stuff. So that's that's awesome that you can get her through operations. Um, Dr. Fate, Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 8, Silver. So man, you have to get, you have to beat Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 8 for a silver card. That's, it's not crazy. It's just kind of amazing that you can get gold ones from just chapter like three or four or whatever it was. Um, Scarecrow, Heroic, Campaign Mode Chapter 1. Okay, so he's with Batman, Wonder Woman, and um, Catwoman. Um, Bane, Heroic, Campaign Mode Chapter 6. Jeez, chapter 6. It's because they're new characters, I guess. Uh, Robin, Chapter 5, Heroic. Swamp Thing, just regular, Campaign Mode Chapter 6. Okay. Uh, Cyborg is Heroic, Campaign Mode uh, Chapter 3. And Gorilla Grodd is Chapter 2, Heroic. Man, you gotta beat Heroic Campaign Chapter 2 to get to get Shards of Grodd. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and collect our achievements. So you can see that I got um, 50 gems as well as 3 of those um, Superman Shards, which is awesome, the gold Superman Shards. Um, on seven different heroes, uh, got another three shards, another 50 um, gems. So now let's go and test out a uh, campaign. Let's go just look at it. Nice job on beating chapter 11. Try out heroic mode for even better rewards. Don't forget to upgrade your heroes first. Yeah, because the beast. Okay, so they remove the weird, like, points that you had to hit to, to, to uh, beat it. It looks like they've just now got it in a one, two, three, four, five um, fashion down at the bottom where you can see what stage you're on of each. Um, congrats on reaching your first boss battle. Um, these are repeatable fights that award some great gear and experience. So you can see there, it still shows you that you can actually win level three gear on this one, which is pretty cool. I don't think they used to have any except for level one. Um, if all of your heroes survive the battle, you'll get three stars. Um, and you can use your SIM chips. Cool, so it actually tells you what SIM chips are for now. Um, okay, so it looks like up until here you can't win characters in normal. Let's just go back through and look. Yep, you can't in just up to level 3 there at least, you can't win heroes. But if I switch to heroic mode now, the possible... Um, Rewards are Harley Quinn, there's Wonder Woman available there, there's Swamp Thing available there, and because I haven't beaten the Batman one yet, I can't do that one. But let's just see if I can get some Swamp Thing um, shards here. There's one, and now I have four, I guess, because I already be I've already beaten it a couple of times. Um, and I got a level five piece of gear. <laughs> uh, there's another one. And two level fives, but no um, Swamp Thing on that one. Okay. So let's go ahead and get Wonder Woman now. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So you can only do three of these per day, by the way, um, by using your Sims and actually fighting for them. So there's two. And there's three. What? I didn't get crap except for... Okay, whatever. So, let's go to objectives, and we will claim our prizes. Um, okay. So, looks like the campaign hasn't really changed too much, except for maybe you get um, better XP when you go through your campaign. So, training missions, let's see if those have changed. Not at all. They still seem to be the same. Oops, clicked edit team. Whoops. Okay. So if I click this, I can't sim it because I haven't beaten it, but I can sim the first one. Is that right? All right, so let's sim. One, 
two, and three. Got our missions here, or our achievement. And now let's go, and so you can see the challenges isn't available. Um, leagues are coming soon and story is locked. Uh, so the only other one that we've got left is Arena. And Arena has changed. I've checked this out already. If it connects. Um, so you've got the uh, top 200 still listed on the left side now. You've got the rewards listed on the right side now. And you can see your rank up in the uh, top left. So then you've got the Arena Store, which is still the same thing. And look, this is what I was talking about. Um, you can only purchase these, or purchase Green Lantern and Predator Batman um, shards in the store, it looks like. So it doesn't look like you can win them because it doesn't show you them on the rewards when it populates. It doesn't look like you can win them on daily um, rewards or weekly rewards. So it looks like the only way that you can buy them or get them is through buying the shards through the uh, arena store. I keep exiting out of it and it takes forever to load back up. It looks like, man, it's not my internet. I'll tell you that. Uh, so arena mode. Um, yeah, you can buy them for the shards. You can either buy five green lantern silvers for 50, or you can buy five predator Batmans for 50. I wonder which one's the better buy, but it looks like you can buy, it says in stock three. So I'm thinking you can buy three of these, uh, at a time. You don't have to just buy one and then wait for the um, the store to refresh after 24 hours. It looks like you can just buy three at a time. That's awesome. The uh, gear is still the same. 20 for each, and it's either Green Lantern or Batman right now. So that is it on the updates for 1.2 for Injustice uh, 2 Mobile. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, if you liked the video, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.